guys welcome to life with courage if you're new to this channel thank you so much for clicking on this video my name is courage and i'm a cameroonian youtuber based in calgary alberta canada and let's dive right into this video i'll be talking about the things to expect or the things you may experience when you get to the airport traveling to canada for me i'm talking about my, my personal experience so my itinerary was the only Simale airport to brussels to Montreal and then Calgary so that was how I moved to Canada and uh, I'll just be talking about the things I, I faced in the airport so that you may have an idea of things that you can also face in the airport and get prepared for that so the first thing I'll talk about that you should know that you'll be asked to remove those many layers of jackets that you may wear so for me I wore um, a winter jacket because i was coming here in the winter but it was not the the serious winter because it was march so i wore a jacket i wore another jacket inside a lighter jacket and i was asked to remove all those things and put them in the in the small basket so that it could pass through the scanning machine so i had to remove all those things and the stress of just removing all that and putting them was too much and if you can do without all the mini jackets, please keep them aside, put them in your bags or somewhere so that you will reduce the time of the time you spend at the control area or at the checkpoint. So if you can do without all the jackets and the pullovers or I don't know, just put on something simple and presentable and also uh, keep all the jackets and everything in your bags to avoid spending so much time at the control point make sure your hand luggages do not carry unnecessary things because they will also be scanned same as the luggages that you checked in were scanned your hand luggages will also be scanned so do not carry unnecessary things what do i mean by unnecessary things do not carry big bottles of water i think the maximum uh quantity of liquids required per container is 100 milliliters so make sure your container that you carry should not be above 100 milliliters you could carry even five different 100 milliliter containers be it your hand cream your toothpaste your mouthwash anything that you need on your trip which is in your hand luggage and it's liquid let it not be above 100 milliliters if not you will be looking for trouble you'll be looking for things that will delay you so avoid those things avoid carrying too many hand luggages first of all it is not permitted to carry too many because it is written it is written down so you cannot carry too many so some people try to like carry a smaller bag then now a hand luggage i suffered guys <laughs> i carried a handbag at least that one is not considered hand luggage then i carry now my hand luggage itself and then i carry a smaller bag where i put in money yeah and it was very stressful i wish i never carried the handbag because the handle of the bag end up getting cut and that was a lot of stress and I was traveling with my baby. So you can imagine what I went through. So carry the necessary hand luggages or the necessary hand luggage. Yeah. And also make sure you have a waterproof uh, envelope or waterproof folder or file where you put in your travel documents. That's what I did. I had a waterproof file or a folder where I put in all my travel documents to avoid any accidents with uh, spillage and so on so anytime i was asked to present maybe my travel documents i just removed them from there and presented which was easier not take food out of the plane and go to a control point with or to a checkpoint with because i almost got into trouble at uh, i think that was montreal yes i think montreal airport i almost got into trouble because i took out baby food which i got in the plane on on the brussels flight i took out the baby food and put it in my bag thinking that i was going to feed my baby with it at the airport and when i got to the control point 
that particular food was taken out and taken taken to somewhere for special scanning and i was wondering what was going on is this not something that they served on the plane so i was getting scared but thank god it was nothing bad it actually took a little bit of time but thank god it came out to be nothing so just avoid carrying things out of the plane and putting in your bag because you never know just avoid those you'll things. be asked your address or the address of the person you're going to be staying with in Canada and maybe the name and the phone number so make sure you know the address and you write it down somewhere because you may not be able to retain it make sure you write the address down somewhere because what I did was I had a book on which I wrote down the address the phone number so my husband was already in Canada so I wrote down his phone number his uh, Canadian phone number and then I wrote down the address where he was staying because it was the same address he used when he was coming to Canada so I was asked that when I got to Montreal because at least that is the first stop when you enter Canada or where you land on Canadian soil so I was asked that information to make sure they know where uh, to make sure I know where I'm going to he had to ask and also the ask my husband's name yeah so just make sure you have the address the name of the person you're going to live with and the phone number that's just very good for confirmation your travel documents will be asked multiple times so just keep it within reach especially your passport it will be asked a lot of times and maybe your itinerary so if you paid your ticket online make sure you print out your itinerary and put it in a place where you can easily reach it and also your passport should always be within reach because you'll be asked for the passport multiple times and also your flight tickets wherever whenever you get them when you land at the airport waiting to board the next airport then and also your passport should always be within reach because you always be asked for them and you may refer to your flight tickets whenever you need to check your boarding date and so on so make sure you have those within reach all the time you will always have people who can help you out like answer your questions guide you on where you should go to and so on in my case when we got to uh i think that was brussels i almost made a mistake with no was it brussels no i think it was montreal i almost made a mistake with my my boarding gate i was going in the opposite direction <laughs> And that was the direction for those going to the US from Montreal. And I was going towards that direction, but it was looking odd. So I had to ask an airport worker whom I saw and the person, I showed the person my flight ticket and the person had to help me check for my boarding gate and directed me to where I was supposed to be. So it is very important to ask questions when you don't know. When you don't know, don't just assume and follow people blindly. It's good to ask and you ask an airport worker somebody that works in the airport that can guide you properly don't just ask any random person okay so you always have people to guide you whenever you are lost whenever you do not know where to go to so make sure you use your mouth and ask for directions and ask for uh, what you want be able to locate your gate yes you ask locate your gate and get there and wait at least if you have like a short layover time you need to wait there so that you can board without any stress and on time but if your layover time is so long you can move around you can do some things before you come and wait at your boarding gate like when i got to montreal i had to wait for eight hours before boarding my flight to calgary that was a long time guys and imagine being with a child but I, have, I had no choice. I had to wait. So just make sure you know your boarding gate. And when you've identified it, you can go ahead and do other things. But get back to your boarding gate at least one hour. Or, yeah, one hour before uh, your flight time. Not 30 minutes, one hour. Last thing to know is the airport is cold in the winter. Yes, it is indoors, but some airports are actually cold in the winter. And... Uh, just make sure you have your jacket in your bag, your cap and your gloves. That is if 
If you are comfortable for not wearing it, put it in your bag. Do not hold it on your arm. Do not just wear it for wearing sake because like I said, you're going to be asked to remove it every time you get to the control control point. So put it in your hand luggage. You don't need too many things because it's cold there. It's not very cold that you can't bear. So just need one jacket, uh, a hat. Make sure you have your socks and so on. So that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you were able to learn something from this video and it's going to help you out. And if you have any other things you want me to make a video about, please just write it down in the comment section. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and see you guys in the next video. Bye!